It's almost like the people at E-Flight and UMX listened when we made our UMX P51 Voodoo video. What a perfect touch and go. Because I remember telling all of you that if they made all the different P51s and all the different paint schemes, I almost guarantee everybody would buy all of them. And if they didn't, it would at least give us more options on which one to that we get to buy. Abby loves the purple and green Voodoo. And I Actually, do too. I like the Miss America. That's my favorite. Miss America's great. And that'll be the next UMX, right? Yeah. And that's just a wild guess. We don't actually know. So if you're already working on it, UMX, I promise I have no idea, but I'll bet that's it. So they need to have all these different liveries or paint schemes on these things. And in today's video, I wanna show you guys how easy UMX planes are to get in the air. We're actually gonna do an unboxing and a bind and a maiden flight video all wrapped in one. So let's go. Let's go. Hold the scroll, then the power button. Model select, new model, create, model name. I don't know what's worse than that or trying to type something in on like your remote on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this isn't too bad. They've done pretty good. I feel like this one's better. Back, back, and back. Main screen, power off. These batteries are the most magic little 3S batteries I have ever seen. I, am, I don't usually say that about all of my Spectrum batteries, but in this case I do. We just plug it in and that puts the receiver into bind mode. Set it down, nice and level. Hold the bind button, hold the power button. A couple seconds into power, let go of power. Binding, 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 binding. Let go of bind. We're bound. And we even have safe on a switch, so we're ready to fly. Of course, now I have a horrible crosswind. It was nice and calm, but here we go. That right there, guys, is the beauty of UMX. The whole point, Whoa. that's the direction the wind is coming. That's the whole point of UMX is I literally bound it here on camera with you. Now I could still go in and add some things like Expo or something, which actually I've never done on UMX planes. You could modify it if you wanted to, but the point of UMX is extreme confidence. I knew I could take this off. I'm flying it knowing that it's going to be an awesome airplane. It's just a great system. I wish their larger planes, E-Flight, were as easy to get in the air as the UMX planes. Not that they're hard, but I just feel like, why can't there just be the press the button and go system on the big planes too? It's simple, it works, safe is already on a switch. In safe, it's perfect. Hands-free. I lost you. Oh, there you go. Right out of the box. Anybody can pick it up and fly it as long as you've ever flown a safe or stabilized airplane before. And the beauty of this too, is I can just throw that safe switch off and I know it's gonna fly great. And then we can do our maneuvers like that. The UMX Voodoo is an awesome airplane and they just took what is already an awesome airplane and gave us another paint scheme. If for some reason there's someone out there that doesn't love an awesome bright purple and green P51, then now you've got the classic Miss Detroit and it looks really good. I have just been expecting UMX to come out with these different paint schemes and here we have it. So if they were smart, they could just release one or two a year and keep us all happy as little clams, you know? <laughs> I mean, why not? Collect like, them all. They've already got a great airplane. And a lot of guys, Abby, they'll buy one of their favorite and keep that on the shelf because these are beautiful little shelf queen type of models and then buy a second one. Oh, I know. I married a one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Now let's talk about the shorts that you like to buy though. The ones that you are good and you know, shorts you love and what, how, um, how does that work? That's you? We're inverted. I do I, have multiple you, pairs of shorts that I like. You are, you're getting confused with yourself. No, that was completely inverted. I don't know if you realize that. All that was inverted and we're still inverted. This nice low pass. Those wheels are sticking straight up in the air. Now if you don't like those the look to this with the landing gear, you can actually take those off very easily and just do a hand launch and belly landing and then the landing gear aren't on there. People are kind of theorizing that uh, because we have another UMX that's out, but we're not actually allowed to say its name or talk about it that's yet. not exactly true, yeah. but. 
It kind of is. <laughs> so you guys know which one I'm talking about, but also I'm not talking about it, if you hear what I'm saying. Um, people are saying because of like the price point of that one, they think UMX is gonna step up their game and start doing retracks, increase the price by 40 bucks or so. Then we're gonna be in like the mid 200 price range on UMX and have retracks. That'd be kind of cool, but that's just some theories that I've read online recently because of these uh, increase of prices and stuff. Although I think this one's still the same price as the UMX Voodoo. The P51. price is just increasing because everything. Inflation. Has I know. Increased. A lot of people don't realize that. They just think it's just RC for some reason. They must not buy the milk in their family. <laughs> like, <laughs> really? Here's full throttle. Like, go to the grocery store. My goodness. Cruising. And we're just going to go full throttle down the runway, Abby. Here it is. Full throttle up. Full throttle snap. Into zero throttle and full throttle climb out of that. We're gonna bank it around and full throttle rip down the runway. So I like to fly my planes a lot of times around 50%. It you it's just yeah, it's kind of quick and small. <laughs> or three quarters throttle or so. Very rarely do I punch full throttle now, especially on these very high performance. This is 3S, right? On a small airplane. So it's extremely high performance. You don't really need to fly full throttle. A lot of times when you watch our videos, they're just cruising, cruising. It's, uh, it's almost too much speed, but it's nice to have the extra power when you need it to punch out of something. So let's show you what safe will do. Let's say we're upside down and we get disoriented. I can throw safe on and then bam, I'm hands free. The airplane is just, it'll fly away forever on its own, but it's auto leveled and it's not going to crash. And that's why that safe switch is nice. What a perfect touch and go. The back tail wheel stayed up that whole time. That was awesome. <laughs> I kind of think I like this one more than the Voodoo. But I you did crash the Voodoo. I did crash the Voodoo because I was going nuts. You know what I was doing? <laughs> I don't remember now. I'll show you. Oh, <laughs> might as well. Why Let's not? make this one match it. No, here. Here's what we were doing, I think. We were doing infinite loops because <laughs> these can do infinite loops. I can't remember what I was doing. I think I was, I did an infinite loop and then I came out of it and I snapped it like that and just slammed it into the ground. But there you go. Miss Detroit UMX P51 flies like a dream right out of the box. That's the, that's the thing I like. The ultimate level of confidence while you're in the air. You don't need to question, is this going to fly good or not? And UMX, I'm sorry to say this, but that's the bar you've set for yourself. So anytime UMX releases anything, we all expect really pretty much perfection. And in, in my opinion, we got that on this little Miss Detroit UMX P51. It's beautiful. It's small. You can fly it just about anywhere. It looks the part and it definitely falls under that expectation of basically perfection. Also, I've got to give massive credit to these magic little batteries. I could fly for 15 minutes on this if I wanted to, and I do. And this will fly with that JST plug, which is universal. You can fly other things and use it in other things too. I can fly this on my pits, uh, the other, the Voodoo. There's a couple others that use this battery. And I wish that all future UMX planes would just fly on this one magic battery because they're not very expensive, they're extremely high performance and you get long flight times out of them. It blows my mind that I get such high performance and long flight times out of such a small power source. It really does. And everyone agrees because we see people talking about these all the time. They're just magic little batteries. We'll have this linked in the description box below next to the airplane. And know that using our link does help support our channel and our family at no extra cost to you. We're super grateful if you consider it. It goes a long way. Every little bit helps and we're extremely thankful. While on the subject of thanks, I want to say a big thanks to God for blessing us with a calm enough and beautiful enough day to get out here and fly and share this experience with you guys because we have storms blowing in. And this really was our smallest little window of opportunity to get out here and get this video before we have like a whole weekend of storms hitting us. So thank you, God. Also, a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because we couldn't do what we do as often as we do it without your insanely awesome support. If you love small, affordable airplane videos, Abby and I'll have a hand-picked video popping up right about now just for you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.